Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be the final match from Group C of the round of 32 from BSL Season 16, 12 o'clock location. We have Dim starting as the yellow Terran. Bottom right-hand corner, we have Monk starting as the red Protoss. If you saw the initial match between these two, you'll know that this could be a barn burner. There was a walkover in the losers match, so whoever... So if you're wondering, hey, what happened to the losers match? That's what happened to the losers match. So whoever wins here advances. Whoever loses in this best of three is eliminated. Right now, I forgot to check the map, so I'm going to take a quick look. Looks like it is Neo Sylphid. I don't know who to call overall. I One thing with being a more creative player, like we saw in the initial game with Monk, is uh, it works initially. It works for one-off ladder games oftentimes. But once your opponent knows what to look for, oftentimes the options start closing down for you. So we'll see if uh, Dim has adjustments in the follow-up match or opts to play himself a little bit more crazy, a little bit more way of the eight, for lack of a better term. Gateway planted alongside as a nine gate. Kind of interesting that it's not, this almost looks like a defensive Protoss interior have the barracks being built alongside to provide a little bit of the uh, standard zealot defense where you can walk the marine through but the zealot can't reach through this is a rampless map so i was almost wondering if we we're going to see two gate or even a proxy gate considering all the shenanigans that happened previously but it looks like a assimilator being dropped instead i'm curious if game one is just going to cycle back to a standard macro match because in the best of one, it's you want to attempt whatever you can to try to advance. So now maybe it's time to prove your mettle in a standard match. Two probes pulling off, third probe joining it. Seven X core warping in, first sell it in production. We do have three SCV on gas, which does open up the possibility for earlier factory play. Let's see if it is going to be, in fact, two fact opener or if SCV get pulled off as 100 gas is lined up. So 100 gas is there. SCV are now pulling off, which means we're probably going to see a faster expand. SCV checking bottom left-hand corner, finding nothing. Initial Zealot making its way out. First Marine produced, second Marine a little bit delayed to get that factory down a little bit earlier, which means there could be some SCV kills for this Zealot. Two Zealots to start and range. See if this Zealot's going to plug the gap as well, or if he's just going to march his way up. So, initial Zealot, seeing the SCV, probably was an attack move right there. This Marine is maybe dead. Factory already halfway constructed, so the Zealot, so only two Marines versus the single Zealot, might be able to even march straight to the lines. Now, yeah, using that nice area, but the Zealot dangerously close to the SCV line. Two shots, one, oh, one Marine already dead, this one already weakened. The Zealot can go ahead and move to the north, potentially almost playing this like a versus Zerg. Maybe he's trying to run to the mineral patch. The Zealot retreating, getting a little bit of shield back, but a factory add-on, so not even going for Vulture first. Second Zealot has joined the front. A bunker being built there, I don't know that it's going to complete as the Zealot is attacking that SCV, now working its way on that bunker, and the Dragoon is going to be here in not too long as well. And it looks like, yeah, the bunker canceled on the front. So two Zealots in the main now. And I can't call this cheese. This was just straight up play. The Marines now facing two Zealots straight in the back mineral line, getting wiped up, and a Dragoon here as well. And the Dragoon joining the fray. Three Marines. Two Marines immediately getting sliced in half. That last Marine with just a sliver of health. And this is looking like it might be a quick victory for Monk. SCV's pulling off the line to try to take care of these Zealots. They're like, okay, fine, we'll do it our way. But a good amount of economic harassment to start. The, ooh, that Zealot getting harassed. Wow, completely still for quite a period of time. The siege tank initially built finally, but the natural expansion is already being built. And the two Dragoons need, yeah, that siege tank needs repair. Trying to pull off. Let's see if Monk overcommits here. A, a Vulture now being produced. Three SCVs coming off the line to repair the machine shop as it's doing mine research, but Monk pulling back briefly and is just, are you, wow, look at this play. So rather than 
getting overly aggressive, Monk doing very Protoss things, and dropping immediate, oops, immediate two Nexus, assuming that Dim is going to play much more passively and is explicitly not in a situation with the Dragoon still harassing the front, able to pick off that Vulture before mines were even dropped. Now it's a Siege tank with no Siege upgrade. Yeah, too far forward, getting picked off immediately. Monk getting a lot of value out of these early Dragoons. Now needs to back off though, as this is a sufficient attack, uh, attack force to repel them and also needs to worry about defending two expansions, not just a single expansion. But let's see if Dim follow this, follows this up with an expansion, which could mean yeah, just grabbing the expansion immediately. Which means Monk is going to have a huge economic boon. Very, very rapidly. In fact, let's see if he pauses after saturating these bases and just drops a large amount of gateways to follow this up. This is where you could play Gateway Man very, very easily. Vulture trailing out. We do have two Dragoons near that natural, but keep in mind there's a huge amount of territory. It looks like the probe's on a miss... Uh, landing a little bit early before that nexus, so they're going to do an initial return. SCV moving in, sees the probes making their way to the left, which may be an indicator. Right now, the worker count just about even, but that is not going to be the case for very long. With three nexus, are you are you kidding me? Is Monk going to go for a fourth here as well? He's got a probe positioned. He's pausing, it looks like, potentially pausing, a cycle, grabbing the robotics facility, but he has a probe already out in position, maybe to grab his fourth base. Single Goliath, or single Goliath, single Dragoon, out to the corners, defending. Second factory being dropped, and an armory, so it looks like Dim wants to play it just standard from here. Three mines defending, and yeah, Monk grabbing a fourth Nexus. Monk likes playing aggressive. I will say that. He is not going to play the solid safe route. Robotic support bay and observatory. I like it. Let's see if he goes for a gateway flood as well. Right now, ahead in supply. Siege tanks moving forward. The Dragoons need to be very careful. Two Dragoons down at the worst possible moment. The two siege tanks moving forward. So six Dragoons should be able to repel this, but depending on when the engagement happens, where the engagement happens, and how many mines get planted, Dim does have an option to maybe make something happen, especially because the gateway count has stayed at two. Two additional gateways now tacking on. So the three, three Dragoons now engaging, and looks like that mine, how did that mine get picked off? Incredible micro there. Now the Dragoons coming from the right. Need to be very, very careful. As far as engagement point, probes pulling off the line to defend. The Marines getting picked off. Explosion on one of the Dragoons. Dim regrouping. And repushing. Now keep in mind this mine to the north. If the Dragoons go a little bit too high, that, that could be that. On top of that, with is Siege Tech even research? Siege Tech still researching. More reinforcements moving in. This could be a dead expansion. Especially with only three Dragoons now to defend. Sorry, four. There's one spread to that corner. And no shuttle or any other defense out. Looks like shuttle speed being upgraded. The robotics facility building a shuttle potentially to go for some zealot bombs over that northern corridor. Some nice mine placement to the right. But single siege tank and no answer for it now because of Monk's earlier greed. The vultures sneaking a little bit too far forward. Two of them getting picked off immediately. But that bridge... Where it would have been critical to get reinforcements across is now isolated. A single zealot able to clear both mines. That was a weird movement of that second mine. And one zealot actually able to at least walk up to the siege tank, but not getting much else. A reaver's there, a zealot's there. The path is potentially open, but this is a very tender location. Reinforcements moving in for both players. One siege tank to the south, taken care of. The reaver dropping. The vultures trying to go for the cutoff route, but getting caught immediately. The siege tank's gone. Nice defense from Monk. And Dim, not able to really solidify either with turrets or additional mines. That engagement location, and now he is down four bases to two. With a reset siege tank count, is somehow up on workers. So good, good on him with the macro, but uh, four factories running. Let's see if it goes up to five. 
this is enough economy for Monk to really roll things for quite a while, especially with the probe saturation across multiple bases. Has a third gas as soon as he wants it. it. Looks like he's now starting to spread those units back across. More mines in between. The observatory has not yet produced an observer, as far as I can tell. Speed shuttle finished. Third base being constructed for Dim. I don't know how he's going to build it or hold it. Two observers, I take it, at, I take it back, being planted. So weird shot right there as the SCV protected by its own building pattern. I don't know if I want to call that good luck or what, all things considered with this map thus far. The siege tanks, mine placement, and turret are going to push Monk back. But now, if he just focuses on his macro, drops a couple additional gateways, Zelt Lake Speed, maybe double forge, even triple forge if he wants to. He's got the resources to make it happen, is what it comes down to. Plus one weapons look like it's being built at that corner. Dim just now grabbing his third. Is now behind in the overall worker count. This is where the Reaver could be effective if it wants to push up and get aggressive. No plus one weapons, or sorry, plus one weapons just finishing. Starport being built as well. And Monk just sidling back. He does have the 20 supply lead. Cannon is main preventatively. Templar archives up. Also getting that critical observer speed. Dim mining up some of the corners of the map. Is not going to like seeing that pylon wall right here. I'm wondering if he realizes how early that was taken. Vulture's finding nothing, dropping the mines, but immediately getting cleaned up. Still no comm set from Dim as well. Just now building that academy. Maybe wants to see what the probe saturation's like at that third and potentially see if there's a fifth already under construction. Knowing Monk, yeah, already going for that fifth base, clearing mines right there. And I don't know that there's a lot Dim can do about it. Does have plus one weapons, but has territory he needs to hold, grabbing his third gas now. Looks like he's just going to go ahead and try to group up and grab his fourth is economically behind overall. More Reavers being constructed. I think that's going to be the second shuttle out. Did the previous shuttle get wiped out? No, that's just mid-map. Solid-sized Dragoon army. Zelt's High Templar being added. Observer moving forward to go ahead and get the lay of the land. A couple siege tanks out there at that position. Speed just kicking in. Maybe looking for routes for that Reaver to go in and might on the corner of that vision there just missing that command center being built. Regardless, if the Dragoons take a southern, a southernly route, there's not a lot stopping them from wiping that base out. However, Monk looks like he wants to just go ahead and take that inside three. In the midst of all of this, he's not made any motions towards... So he's got High Templar out. Looks like he mostly wants to go with shuttle play. Flurry of Compsats dropped. I don't know if that spotted the Nexus or not. Looks like there's going to be High Templar Reaver Zealot Bombs maybe ain't targeted at the main. Second armory being built, plus two, or sorry, plus one armor about halfway finished. Reaver's checking out additional locations. Monk doing Monk things and grabbing that base there, and it looks like he's going to go for another double expand. High Templar grouped up there. 40 supply up at end game amounts of probes right this second. Honestly, if he takes additional bases, it might be concerning because I don't know that he is going to have the probes to really saturate. Finds that base top right, scoots right past it, tanks sieging, swinging right back around. Zealots first, so that should take care of at least a siege tank, maybe two. And where did the shuttle go? It looks like it's going to move up, drop the High Templar into the main. Does it get the side storm off? Does get the side storm off. So High Templar and shuttle sacrifice their life to obliterate a large amount of SCVs. Looks like that siege tank was able to unseed in the nick of time to keep itself alive. A second drop in the main with the High Templar. Getting a good number of kills and emptying that location. It looks like they're going to be transferred to that fourth base. But a lot of juicy territory to work through here. Weaver taking some siege tank shots. SCV getting wiped out right there. Let's see if they get scooped right back up. Nope, not in time. Moving out of range. Might be able to get some supply depots. Now working... Oh, did the army cancel? It looks like the army, both armies canceled upgrades. 
or maybe one finish and the second was not even started, but that's going to delay things quite a bit. Making their way back towards that natural expansion. Reaver drops first, dies. Another huge side storm, and that was with the collection of SCVs that transferred. So now down, oh wow, now dim down to 38 workers. And you've got that inside three o'clock location being built. So it's previously it was Monk's game to lose. Now it is definitely Monk's game to lose. Look at all these high temp uh, Dark Templar in between here. Also double Stargate, which he can afford. Triple Forge rolling. This Forge remaining silent for the moment. A lot of cannons there at location. Dragoons already have plus one weapons. Yeah, I'm not sure what Dim can do aside from just unsiege everything and go for an attack now and hope for the best. Does have a lot of factories up. Looks like he's going to try to play it out. Supply Depot burnt down behind all of this. He is in dire situation as far as the war effort goes. And on top of that, Stasis and some Arbiters, it's just going to get worse from here. Monk looks like... This looks like a pro gamer's setup usually in late game for Monk, I gotta say. Where he's hitting near 200 supply around the 17 minute mark. Really, really solid. Upgrades are a little bit behind maybe where they would be for another player, but... Huge army. 50 supply lead. Can just start bullying things around. If he wipes out these two turrets, this entire base is gone. If he wipes out that turret and that turret and can clear those mines, which is a very likely scenario, could wipe out that base. Luckily, he's just checking the additional expansions. The engineering base sees that army making its way that direction. Dim only has three. It looks like he's going to move the entirety of his army over to engage on that corner. This is one way that Dim could get back into it is if Monk just has terrible engagements. So it looks like now Dim's starting to move out mid-map. Keep in mind, there's no detection alongside this. There's the Dark Templar in the midst of all of it. The Zealots able to get good spread. The Vultures trying to make their way to the north to take care of those Zealots. Dark Templar taking out what siege tanks are left underneath. It looks like splash damage, wiping some of them out. Up. A lot of siege tanks here, but Monk is all over it. Interspersed. And the Arbiter is moving up as well, providing support detection. I'm going to assume this is going to be GG once this tank line is wiped out. And it looks like it is going to get cleaned up. Pretty solid engagement there. It is GG. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Game one goes to Monk.